Let's begin this morning with Israelis marking six months since the heinous Hamas attack of October 7th that provoked a war in Gaza with intense suffering on both sides. This morning, a major announcement from the Israeli military could provide a sign of hope. NBC's Hala Garani is in Tel Aviv with the latest. Holly, what more can you tell us? Well, Willie, some important information coming to us from the Israeli military is saying they are withdrawing a significant number of troops from the southern part of the Gaza Strip, meaning they will only be leaving one brigade inside of the enclave. The IDF says that it has concluded an operation in Khan Yunus and is therefore withdrawing. Unclear, though, Willie, what that means. With regards to Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister's promise to mount an offensive on Rafah in the southern part of Gaza. This comes a few days after what was described as a tense conversation between President Biden and the Israeli uh, prime minister, uh, who reportedly the president conditioned the continuing U.S. assistance to Israel on a course change inside of the Gaza Strip. Now, the Israeli government, it, as a result, it is believed of that same conversation, has promised to open new aid routes, most significantly in the north, though that has not happened yet, and it's not something we've been able to observe. And the situation inside of Gaza, it has to be said, continues to remain dire. A World Health Organization team visited the Shifa Hospital. They said facilities there, Willie, were completely destroyed and that there was a stench of death all around. And aid organizations say that a, a, a large number of people are still very much in near famine conditions inside of the Gaza Strip. Now, a couple more things. In Israel, today is the funeral for the 47-year-old hostage Elad Katsir, whose body was retrieved by the Israeli military back to Israel proper a few days ago. And this is happening, as you mentioned, as the country marks six months since October 7th, and on a day as well where a senior advisor to the supreme commander in Iran is saying that no Israeli embassy is safe any longer. Willie, back to you. A solemn day there in Israel, of course. Allah Garani in Tel Aviv. Allah, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.